Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to try and talk about one question that comes up all the time, which is, who do I rank up? Who do you rank up? Right? Everyone wants to know, who should I rank up? Should it be this guy or this guy? New buffs come out. Who should I take up? Should I take up my Kingpin? Should I take up my Mallman? Should I take up my Yellow Jacket? My Terax? Who should I take up? Before you decide on who you want to take up, you have to think about where you are in the game. Right? Are you starting off the game? Are you mid-tier player? Are you an end-game player? What content do you have left? You know, are you looking for something for, you know, typical questing in story mode? Are you looking for variants? Are you looking for specific utility? Are you looking for power gain? Are you looking for heal block? Are you looking for long form content in terms of Realm of Legends, Labyrinth of Legends, or Abyss of Legends? Each one is going to, you know, can be, has a wide range of champs that can be used, right? It, it all is going to depend on what you want to do. And at the same time, who do you like playing? What styles of characters do you like you know lots of guys like all sorts of different characters also there's almost 200 characters like the unique five stars or six stars that you can get and depending on what you end up with you know um on my junior account my uh you know i had a um doc ock was my first and second six star pull and because of that, I played him a ton. And I got used to playing him. I got used to where he's good, um, how to utilize him the best, get some synergies going with him. And I actually like using him all the time on both my accounts. So I have him as a six-star rank two on my main account as well. And, you know, it's a lot of fun for me to use. On my main account, I definitely plowed through a ton of content um, with Blade, paired him up with Ghost Rider, had, um, you know, I've got my, uh, where is he? I got my Stark Spider-Man. So I got my main, that main trio got me through tons of content, right? Tons of stuff. I And like a guy like Gladiator Hulk got me through tons of tricky fights. And those were the ones that I had. Those were my bread and butter champs. And those are the ones that I used all the time. I didn't have, um, you know, Captain Marvel movie or Nick Fury or, you know, Warlock. Um, I didn't have Ghost and I've never been a Ghost player. Um, I never, uh, I was never a Quake player. Um, I never had Hyperion ranked up. So I, there are tons of characters that get used all the time. And you have to go with what you like using. I've done all the content uh, for the most part with my, uh, yeah, I've done pretty much everything with my um, main account here. Um, I've gone through all the variants. I've gone through, uh, you know, I've gone through all of um, Act 6. I've done the first part of Act 7. And I've even done uh, Abyss. So it depends on, and like each one requires something different which is why myself, I usually like to rank up based on the content that I'm doing. If I jump into a piece of content like Abyss and I can see that I definitely need, um, you know, uh, someone to take down, uh, you know, uh, someone like a, um, was it Luke Cage there? And I didn't want to go through, um, you know, I don't trust my intercepting with Aegon to get through that fight. So I'm going to go ahead and I waited till I got someone like uh, Stealth Suit Spider-Man, right? And took him up and he got me through that fight. I probably did it in the same, you know, it might be the same amount of revives even as someone doing it with Aegon, but I wasn't comfortable with that. And it depends on what you're comfortable with. If you're comfortable with, um, you know, if you're really good with someone like a um, She-Hulk, you know, there are the She-Hulk machines, you got your Tigra machines, you got these guys who are amazing with these, um, you know, with specific champions. And you have to ask yourself, do you want to uh, learn a specific um, champ that if you're really good at, and that's what you are going to choose to do. And uh, I think that that's, you know, 
something I've got. I want to say there are so many champs that I've used. And even if I go to my junior account and I can bring that up and I didn't have um, a ton, lot of the characters that I just said that I had on my main account. I don't have a blade. I never had a blade ranked up for that one. I didn't have, um, you know, so I didn't really have a, um, a, uh, so I didn't have, what's it called? I didn't have Ghost Rider ranked up pretty high. I wasn't really using him. Um, I didn't, I don't have a Gladiator Hulk still. I only got an Iceman like late in the game on uh, my junior account. And because of that, I used a whole bunch of different characters. Um, so, you know, I definitely used uh, um, Corvus more on my junior account. I had a Mephisto ranked up. And then I got champs like Captain America, Infinity War, and Void, which I did not have on my main account, or uh, ranked up uh, Morningstar. So those champs I had on my, on my junior account, I've played with uh, a lot more with on, on that account and got used to a bunch of different type of characters. Um, definitely there are some that overlap. But, uh, you know, even a champ like Medusa I didn't have on my main account. Or I didn't get a Symbiote Supreme till um, late in the game on my uh, main account. So when I got him on the junior account, I brought him up and got to use him for some fights that I didn't get a chance to clear with on my main account and made it a lot easier. So it really is going to depend on what you have, what you like playing with. Um, you know, first and foremost, because there are plenty of champs that, like, there's a lot of hype around them, you know, everyone's talking about how great they are, and you watch everybody is clearing content with it, but then you realize maybe it, they require certain masteries, and you don't want to, you know, spend your units on those masteries. You know, I don't have certain ones, so certain champs never worked, uh, you know, for me the way they worked for somebody else. And sometimes it takes a while to before you realize that, you know, oh, they've got, you know, a specific mastery. And that's why they can reverse all the healing with a certain champ and I can't do it. You know, so you have to always think about, um, you know, what you have on your roster, um, what you what you like playing. You know, there are lots of fun uh, champs. They've got literally new ones coming out every month. Reworks coming out all the time. So whether you're a beginning player or a mid-tier player or an endgame player, you know, don't get sucked into the hype over any specific one and feel like you're, you're stuck that you, you have to play a certain character. You know, you don't have to be a, uh, you know, a quake machine and you don't have to be a, a ghost player or anything like that to get through the content. And I'm not saying that it's all uh, units, but uh, you definitely don't need uh, you don't need specific characters to clear, you know. Um, there's no one champ that does does everything, right? There's going to be lots of different nodes, lots of different counters, lots of different strategies that you can find for each one. So I I always suggest that you you know take it piece of content by piece of content, you know what what do you want to accomplish, and then look for uh, you know have your goals on on which champions you have. And, you know, go from there to make your decisions. If you don't have the champions for a specific content, then you can always wait. There's so much content that is um, permanent. All the variants are permanent. Abyss of Legends, the Realm of Legends, Labyrinth of Legends, it's all permanent. The story content is all permanent. So there's, there's no rush. I still haven't finished uh, Act 6.3 or 6.4 on my junior account, and... Now that I have a bunch of champions uh, ranked up, you know I'm I'm doing it slowly, one path here or there, and I'll and I'll get through it eventually. But uh, yeah, so um, you know I hope this helps you. Uh, you know make your decision. You can always uh, if you have rank up questions, you can always ask them. But uh, you know it's always your personal preference. So uh, we'll see you in the next one, guys.